Hi, I'm Steve Jones from SQL Server Central, and I've got another Visual Studio SQL Prompt tip brought to you by Redgate Software. One of the common things that you might want to do in your SQL code is do some error handling. For example, the try catch snippet is really handy. I hit TC and type enter, and you'll notice I get this entire catch here. I can rethrow my error. I can certainly come up here then and say something like, well, let's update uh, dosages and we'll set the dosage level equal to six where dosage ID is equal to one or two, All right? Very quickly, I can write this code, but I've got the structure already set up for the try catch for me. Makes it really easy for me to go ahead and implement that try catch as a part of all of my standard coding practices. Hopefully you'll find this tip really handy when you use SQL Prompt and Visual Studio. I'm Steve Jones for SQL Server Central and Redgate Software.